Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Costa, if you did not know that already. So today's video is just going to be the March 2020 Ipsy Ultimate Unboxing. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So I would just like to start this video by saying again, like I do every month with Ipsy, that um, they still are not putting in the... Um, like little pamphlets with the prices on it like there's this one but it just kind of tells you the month and I guess their theme for the month and then about a giveaway but again no information about the products at all but other than that let's go ahead and start with the first product oh so I almost forgot to show you the ipsy bag of the month so it's this little Almost like a retro neon yellow, like green blue little makeup bag. And look at that, it's like neon green in the middle. Ipsy does so well on their bag design. Because, like, a lot of these things, like, I would pay money for. Like, so freaking cute. Ugh. I have way too many makeup bags because of Ipsy way too many so first item in the box is this Chella beauty eyeshadow palette I did use this all over my eyes I used all four colors um, and these shimmer shades are very pigmented and I think maybe they'd be considered like a foil eyeshadow but I the gold is like really good really smooth applied very easily and then I put a little bit of this um, like silver shade in the inner corners of my eye and then use this as my transition shade and this as like the outer corners so I really do like this palette um it's very simple but glam at the same time so this is definitely something I would bring with me um, when going out of town if I wanted to stick with like the more neutral look and one thing in this palette is that you can actually take out the eyeshadows so I'm guessing you can maybe refill them or I guess if you have a, a Z palette thick enough to hold these then you could put it in there but I'm assuming it's mainly for if you run out of the eyeshadow so that is pretty awesome and although I do love these eyeshadows and they are pretty big eyeshadows uh, this palette does go for $45 which for four eyeshadows like most of us probably wouldn't go for it but maybe with the shimmer shadows and just the size of the overall pan I guess it would kind of make it worth it, but again, $45 a lot for four shades. Next in the box is this Complex Culture um, Angled Foundation Brush. Uh, we have gotten a Complex Culture brush before in the palette. It was like this angled um i use it for bronzer because i feel like it really helps with the contour um so this is a foundation brush and i did use this to apply my foundation but i don't know i think for me it's just way too like stiff i just feel like it just pulls the foundation and your skin and just doesn't apply the foundation very effectively in my opinion so I used it but I ended up having to go in with a beauty blender to kind of blend everything together um, if you don't know about complex culture I believe they are an ipsy owned brand so that's pretty cool that ipsy is getting um, into other like their own beauty company I will say these do feel like very high quality um, brushes. Uh, so the brush goes for $35. Um, not 100% sure if that's like worth it. Like they are really good quality, but just based on how the application of my foundation was with this brush, I wouldn't recommend buying this brush 
spending $35 of your money for it. Just stick with the Beauty Blender, 20 bucks. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Next in the box is a very simple item, but I love chapstick, so I'm not complaining. This is Preventative Measures 101 After Hours Lip Balm with Moisture Release Technology um, Passion Fruit. So I tried it on. It's a standard lip balm. I would say it's not as thick as like the chapstick brand, um, but it definitely does feel nice over the lips. Uh, this balm goes for $7.00. So definitely more, I guess, on the pricier side of what chapsticks normally cost, but it is a decent quality item. Nothing else further to say about a bomb. <laughs> Next item is this Mana Kadar Beauty um, Blush in the shade Bali Babe. I have this on my cheeks. Um, and I do like it. It's very light. Um, I'm not 100% 100 100 sure if it's buildable, but with the light hand for me, I didn't really need to go in with much. So this is the blush swatched. Um, when you apply it with a brush, it definitely comes out a lot lighter than what that looks like. And it does have a little bit of shimmer. Um, but overall, uh, fairly nice. Now I wasn't 100% sure if this was a full size item or not because the pictures of this product look different than what's here and then what's on their website. This looks almost smaller but I'm gonna assume that it's a full size but again I have no pamphlet so I have no idea. Um, the full size goes for $19.00. Compared to, I guess, the brands that are sold at Sephora, not a horrible price, but I think with Sephora, like blushes, you probably get a bit more product than this. Um, but you can definitely go also cheaper with just going with a, um, why am I blinking on brands? Hold on. Like Physician's Formula. <laughs> You can probably go cheaper with Physicians Formula Blush and be just as just as good quality or even better. Just FYI, if you hear anybody talking in the background, it's probably kids next door outside. Uh, I have the AC in the wall, so all the noises from outside are easily heard on the inside. So just try to ignore it <laughs> if you hear it. Next in the box is this Moon Teeth Whitening Pen. Um, so I'm guessing it's like a collaboration with Kendall Jenner. I don't know. I think I have seen commercials or something with her using this. But honestly, I just think that's them slapping her name on it just to get buyers. <laughs> so this, I guess, has a flavor of vanilla mint. And it says that you apply this two times a day and so you leave your mouth or your teeth open like this for like 30 seconds and then for 30 minutes you don't eat or drink anything um and i have used stuff like this before i always forget about them so i've never had any luck with them but that is what it looks like the one thing i want to note oh i pressed the button crap okay one thing i want to note about this product is that it's like do not use in combinations with coffee tea cigarettes or other substances that may impact whitening effect i mean you only use it for two weeks but come on are you really gonna go without coffee for two weeks or if like you're a cigarette smoker are you really gonna go without cigarettes for two weeks just to get your teeth whitened a little bit probably not but anyways, I am going to try it out. Um, and this goes for $20, which I don't think is horrible compared to products like Crest. Like I think like Crest whitening strips, those stuff, I think those are like more expensive and probably last just as long. So who knows if it does work. It's a good quick way to whiten your teeth, but probably just not something I'm just going to stick to in my daily routine. Next is a Thrive Cosmetics 
High Shine Reviving Topper in the shade Glinda. So it's just a lip gloss. Um, I do have this on my lips and you really can't tell if there's like blonde or bronze shimmers on my lips. Like maybe if you get really close, you might be able to tell. But really, it just feels like a standard lip gloss. Now I guess what makes this product stand out is that it says powered by um, a vegan collagen complex, which combines lip-loving peptides, time-released hyaluronic microspheres, and oils to hydrate and plump your skin. Um, but as far as like how it looks, it is like a standard lip gloss. Now this is definitely a lip gloss that I wouldn't mind wearing on my own because it's definitely not like sticky. It is definitely like a more lightweight lip gloss. So definitely not mad at it. Definitely something I will get some use out of. Next in the box is this deluxe sample, Hemp's Pure Herbal Extracts. Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon Herbal Body Moisturizer. Um, I actually don't think I've tried any of their products before, but they are uh, enriched with 100% pure natural hemp seed oil. I think that's what's kind of made them popular. I think they were around like way before um, like marijuana was even legal in many states. But this is just a, a body moisturizer, um, so nothing Special, I would assume. Oh, it does smell very good. I can definitely smell the pineapple and melon. Like, I'm loving that scent. Um, so the full size of this product is $23, but I calculated um, the ounces with the original and then the sample. So this value would be about $3. Next item in the box is this Illa Mask Hydra Veil. So I originally thought that this was a moisturizer, but when I looked up the price, it said it was a primer. So uh, I definitely would have known that if I looked it up. So it says the best-selling clear gel instantly helps skin feel hydrated and smooth. The lightweight base formula is quickly absorbed to the skin and is the perfect base for long wear foundation application, leaving your skin looking flawless. So I feel like this could probably maybe be used as both, as like a moisturizer and a primer. I'm going to go ahead and zoom that. Um, the only thing that concerns me with in the mask is that... <laughs> It smells like very highly perfumed like there's probably a lot of fragrance so if you're somebody who has like sensitive skin uh, I would not recommend it and yeah so it will be a, a little while until I get to this product um, so this goes for $38 um, and it's obviously full size we will see about you, but I have a feeling I am not going to like you. Next in the box is this deluxe sample. It's a Derma Deli Nourishing Eye Serum. It says it reduces under eye dark circles, which I don't have too bad of. Uh, but if I can use this as a preventative measure, then I'm all for that says gently dab one drop on the under eye area use twice daily okay so obviously deluxe sample now the full size goes for $35 and the full size is only about three times what this is so I valued this sample as around $12 which I guess is pretty good for the price and eye serums usually last a long time because you're only putting it under the eyes so I will definitely use this as a travel sized item for when I go out of town and yeah then we have a 111 skin celestial black diamond eye mask um I usually only use eye mask like every Thursday or like once a week usually I'll do it like after my clinical days uh, but not 
the huge fan of eye masks, but I do use them when I get them. So it says it helps to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, softens the appearance of dark circles, and minimizes the sensation of puffiness. Um, the delicate eye area is left smoother, hydrated, and awakened. So a pretty standard um, eye mask. So this is considered a full-size item, and this is $15, which 111 skin I already knew was a bit on the pricier pricier side um so $15 does not shock me with one eye mask next is a deluxe go-to face hero a powerful and protective facial oil now I have gotten this before as a full size in a previous ipsy box and like it was okay but this is heavily fragranced with like a rose scent and I'm just not into that whatsoever so this little item here is gonna go in my giveaway container and let somebody else see if they um, like it uh, but this is a deluxe sample and the full size goes for $45 and I think this is also a third of what um, the original what the full size is so this is valued at $15. Another item is another 111 skin. So this is a rose gold brightening facial mask treatment mask. I have gotten this before. Um, I don't know if it was from Ipsy or if it was from BoxyCharm, but I definitely have received this in one box before. And it is okay. It's one of those gel masks. Um, I don't know if I would technically say it's worth the price though. Just one and it goes for $32. Now you tell me, would you pay $32 for one sheet mask? No, you wouldn't. I'm going to answer that for you. You would not. If you are smart and financially, just financially, you know, smart you're not going to spend $32 on a mask. There are definitely cheaper masks that probably are just as good or better. Next in the box is this. Um, it's Library of Flowers American Small Batch Perfumery. Uh, it says hand cream honeycomb uh, bottled by Margot Elena uh, Cocoa Butter. So... I'm not exactly sure on what the exact brand is. I'm going to assume it's the Margot Elena because I did look it up and that's what the website was. But it's just the whole layout of how this is set up is just confusing. Although the box packaging is very cute. Now obviously like I said it is a hand cream and it is full sized. Now, I would think this would be like a floral scent because the packaging has flowers on it. I can't really tell um, what it smells like through that seal, um, but this is full size and it goes for $20, which I guess isn't horrible for a hand cream. Uh, I believe I've definitely seen more expensive ones, but I will for sure get use out of this a hundred percent now lastly in the box is this hey honey show your glow colloidal gold and honey beauty mask so it says made to smooth firm and hydrate your skin it's for anti-aging so it's just a mask and it is a deluxe sample so the full size of this product goes for 64 dollars that's a lot. Um, but I valued this deluxe sample to be about $19, which I wouldn't even pay that for this tiny, tiny thing. And yeah, that is it for this box. Now, the overall value, um, including the deluxe samples, I calculated that to be $304, which isn't bad for, you know, paying $50 a month. Um, but without the deluxe samples, that's really 
what I care about is how much full size items you're getting. Um, so the value without the samples is $255, which still hits their promise of the box being over $250. Um, so definitely good. Now they usually promise you um, eight full size items and four deluxe samples. This box I got, I think it was 10 full size items and four deluxe samples. So considering that it's their 100th box, I'm assuming that's why we got kind of like an extra couple products. So I'm not complaining. I don't mind the extra stuff. Now I will say I'm not mad at most of the products received in this box. I think everything I would pretty much use regu regularly um, besides like the Illamasque um, primer. Like I'm not excited really to try that out. Uh, but the Cello Beauty eyeshadow palette, um, the lip gloss, the even, you know, the eye serum samples, hand cream, like I'm all excited for that stuff. So I would say it this month is a pre pretty decent box. Um, but again, I just do want to point out Ipsy that you need to put, you, you need to put the values on a card and put it in the boxes because it's just lets us know more about the product. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!